Developing tonight, authorities identify the body of a woman who went missing in Lake Michigan last night. 20-year-old Amy Keltz's body recovered near Foster Avenue Beach this morning. And WGN's Jewel Hillary is joining us live with the latest in the investigation now. Jewel? Hi, good evening, Micah and Ray. Not that long ago, I spoke to a close friend of Amy Keltz who says that she and Amy's mother and brother are understandably heartbroken and were just too emotional to talk to us on camera today. According to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, Keltz lived in Aurora and those who knew her and loved her say she was a beautiful person, an amazing friend, someone who will be deeply missed. On Thursday morning, just before 10, CPD's Marine Unit recovered the body of 20-year-old Amy Keltz near Foster Avenue Beach. On Wednesday night around 8.30, search and rescue crews were called out to search for Keltz, who witnesses say was struggling to stay afloat in Lake Michigan. Waves were anywhere from one to two feet. And when you look at the satellite view of Foster Beach, um, even though th there might not have been large waves breaking on the shoreline, the water is still moving from the north to the south. Dave Benjamin, co-founder of Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, says that movement in the water could have created a long, sharp current parallel to the shore. Uh, several problems can happen when there's a pier at, at the south end of uh, Foster Beach. The currents can increase. You can have drop-offs along the pier, and then the the current will pull out along the piers. GoFundMe pages are set up to help support the family of Amy Keltz. Those who knew her shared on the GoFundMe sites that Keltz was an amazing friend who leaves behind her mother and brother. Tragically, this year alone, Benjamin says there have been 10 drownings in Lake Michigan. Five of those drownings have been this month. He says if you're in a situation where you are struggling in the water, you should attempt to flip, float, and follow. So you flip over on your back and you float, float to keep your head above water, calm yourself down from the panic of drowning and conserve your energy and then follow a safe path out of the water. Mia LaHoz, who went to Foster Avenue Beach with her son today, says lifeguards were very vocal about keeping swimmers safe. Basically, they're telling everybody to stay away from this side because this, like if you can see there down there, like the beach is kind of has like this wall around here where the rocks start. And so they're telling everybody to stay away from there. After Wednesday night's tragedy, Mia is even more cautious about her son's safety in the water. I kept telling him to just stay close and don't go too far out, even though the water's not that deep, because those waves will take you all of a sudden. Now it is believed that Kelts drowned, but an autopsy is expected tomorrow morning and that will determine the exact cause of death. Reporting live from Foster Avenue Beach, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel.